All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to play a set against my former student, Reed, who played for Clemson. And I'm going to be mic'd throughout the match. I'm going to guide you a little bit through my thought process as I'm playing the set. Definitely late on that forehand. Should have gotten up to that quicker. I was kind of reaching for it and pushed it long. When I have a little bit of time, I get to set on my forehand, I can be aggressive. Problem is when I'm under pressure, I have to play defensively. So I want to be aggressive as much as I can. My 30-15, I need to first serve right here. Thinking about going down the tee with a slice. Okay, that worked out great. 40-15. All right, another one down the tee. I'm flattening it out. Yeah, we can stay. We can stay for the whole time, Breed. I'll take the sun. I need a tan. All right, right here. Come on, break right away. Hit that break right away. All right, now he's got a second serve. I want to right away be aggressive, put pressure on him, make him think about missing those first serves, get a little, a little bit of anxiety into his game. I'm going to be super aggressive on this one. Even if I miss, it's okay. All right, it's all right. Good feet. No footwork on that return. One thing I find with not playing a lot of matches, which I don't, I rarely play now, you lose the timing on the return. So return is definitely something you gotta practice a lot in a real match type scenario. So I'm gonna use this first game to get my feel for the return back, get my timing right. about a car noise so yeah i gotta turn that off in my brain i've been distracted by things but this really is annoying come on stay active on your feet stay lively lively Thirty fifteen. get this point in the game it's tight come on Fantastic return. This is exactly what I like returning. Right through the middle of the court. Come on. 30 all. You get it right here. Ah, uh, run for that. You could have had that. Don't be lazy. That return was way too weak. See, I got to put pressure with the return. I literally could not see anything on that overhead. Check out my video, how to block the sun. I tried to block it with my hand. It worked somewhat. I've seen a lot of come on. First serves, Nick. first serves. All right. Too good. That yeah, return was deep. I didn't do a good job deflecting the back. And I got killed. Right to the low of a toss or higher. The toss was so bad. Come on. Huge point. Come on. Yeah, he knew it. He says he knew it, but it's good to mix up that second sometimes. He actually doesn't. He didn't know it. I don't think he did. Otherwise, he wouldn't have framed it. But uh, yeah, you got to mix up that second serve every now and then. Don't be predictable with the kicker. Every now and then, like once a game, in crucial moments, give it a little mix up. Come on, Nick. I'm going to actually stand further back on the second serve. I feel like when I'll come in, and my reaction time is too slow right now. I'm going to stand further back and rip this one right through the middle. Mm. 
All right, so that was supposed to go down the middle, but he doesn't know that. It looks like I hit an un unbelievable um, down the line winner, but actually it was a miss hit. I was way late. That's the old dropper. Works on hardcore too. Another shank, but it's okay. I'll admit it to you guys. He doesn't know. He thinks I'm returning like a maniac. But actually, that was not supposed to go cross court. I hit it way too early. And it was a shank. But the intention to go through the middle is so huge because even shanks will go in. He'll go to the corners. So, guys, I recommend you got to aim that return through the middle of the court hard. Djokovic style. Come on, love 40. First one. <clears throat> Ah, you had it. Come on, man. Get out. Get a little more height. A little more height. Long. Another good return. See, that gives me confidence. I can run around my backhand, rip that forehand for a win. I don't think he's going to pull it slice out wide. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> yeah, again. Missed it forehand. Good shot, Reed. That they hit that so bad that approach that again, not clean off the frame. Oh. I don't know what that was. It was a hybrid between an angle back and a lob. Horrible, horrendous, and the serve might have been out too. Ay, ay, ay. Lob 40, deuce. Stay with this game. Come on, stay with it. So bad. Come on, stay with it. Don't give up now. Stay with this game. Come on. Stay strong. Again, come on. Aggressive forehands again. Back up. Fantastic. See, now I think he's got a little bit in his head because I'm returning well on this side. And he's going for more in that second. Right, come on. One over break point. Break point number... Four. This one I'm gonna get. Right here. Oh. This is so weak that return. It's so weak. You gotta hit that thing harder. There's the break. But just in general now, when I got this break, especially like a long return game like that, and I finally get the break, there's a little bit of a relief usually. And players relax and they get broken right back. It's very common. So this is what I'm gonna try to prevent in my next service game. I'm gonna focus super hard on the first couple of points as if we're still on serve. Not even gonna think about the break. I wanna hold this break because what this means if I serve decently, I can win the set. So this game is absolutely humongous. Right here. I'm going to go wide, slice. Nice cutter out wide. Fantastic start. Fantastic. I've been missing that flat one. I'm going to try to slice it out wide. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to make it hit that back in return. That's the beauty of a kick serve, guys. It's not easy to return, and guys will make a lot of mistakes off of it. You gotta learn to kick the ball. Finally, I make a half court shot. He's fast, so these drop shots have to be good. They have to be very accurate. That's why I use them very seldomly. I don't want to overdo it. He's way too quick for it to be a thing I do all the time. All right, now I'm up 4-1. I'm 
let's get an insurance break guys when you get an insurance break you can make the set go your way most of the time so i'm going for the insurance break right here Now I got confidence. I'm hitting the ball hard. It's not missing that much. I just gotta stay with it. Don't let up. That was a bad backhand. Great shot, Reed. I didn't hit it right. I shanked it a little bit. Went right in the middle of the court. I was maybe a little too far away from the ball. Keep on my feet moving. Come on. Ah, that was a weird. Was that was that slice? Yeah, it bounced like so high. I lost my time timing on that. Again, I'm mistiming my backhand return. I took some pace off of that. That's what's cool. That's what uh, messed me up. Alright, doesn't matter. Come on, stay with it. The fun thing with Reed is he used to have a two-hander, and he switched to a one-hander when he went to Clemson. And so the the one-hander is can be a little bit erratic at times. But he does slice most of his back end, so it's kind of tricky. I don't really like returning slice. <laughs> Funny how we just talked about that and I barely got that over the net. I did not bend. That was a lucky forehand, but that's what I mean. He's got a nasty slice. All right, come on. You got a break point right here. Equivalent to set point. So you got to get, come on, you got to get hyped. And what bad footwork. That was a crazy kicker, I read, on a first serve too, which was surprising. Again, I was kind of a sleeping on the return of serve there. Was not having the right intensity. I'm having a little bit of a down right now. I gotta pump myself up. I should have gone down the line, maybe. I've been going cross court every single pass. Maybe give him a down the line. He's not expecting it. Very, very many backhand miss hits. A huge game right here. That's a great serve, Nick. Come on. Eh, come on, Nick. Good volley. Come on, Nick. Come on. Good approach shot, too. Nothing too fancy. Just make him hit that pass. Come on, Nick. Well, I'm going to play super aggressive in this game and try to conserve my energy. Short points. Okay. It's a good return, actually. Could have gone in. Could have... It didn't, but I didn't expend any energy there. That's exactly what I'm looking for right now. That's a fantastic pickup read. Too good, Reed. Nice service game. All right, my friends, here it is. Can the Nickster serve it out, 5-3? I'm gonna need some first serves. I'm gonna go down the tee. I'm feeling this one right here. Half court shots have gotten a little bit better right now. In the beginning it was a little shaky, but now I'm putting them away quite comfortably. Fantastic serve, Nick. Come on. Toss was too low. Yeah, 
That would have been really good. So then I mixed up that second serve actually. I went for a slice and it worked actually. It works really well. I missed a ridiculously easy volley, but it's okay. I'm right where I want to be. 30 all 5-3. There we go. Bread and butter. Come on. Come on. Finally went down the line and it worked. Woo! 6-3. You know what killed me? What? The game at when I was trying to get the insurance break. Yeah, you 4-1. I was oh, serving 1-4. That game just took everything out of me. I, I, that, up, was that the one you went up love 40? No, that's the one I broke. I went up love 40 on 2-1. On on and then you came back and then it was like a couple back and forth. It was a long game. Yeah, yeah. You played really well to get it back to deuce. And then you gave me a couple of mistakes. You gave a double fault, if I remember. Double fault. Slide, yeah. Uh, kick wide on the deuce. Yes. And then you he I held, and then that game when I was trying to get the insurance break, that yeah. destroyed me. That was a long one. Oh, that was probably like a 15-minute game, and it took everything out of me. I was actually very tired after that. That's why I let that game go a little bit at 5-2. <sighs> yeah. I couldn't. I just had to let it go, yeah. conserve the energy. But you know what shot you were hitting amazingly well? The pickup topspin forehand, like off a deep return. That's a fantastic pickup read. Man, you were redirecting it with spin. It's not easy to do because you got to accelerate on it. I just usually deflect mine. You got to be like super low. On you got to be super low, super still, super steady. But I usually like deflect mine. You actually took a cut at it couple times and you made it it's so weird because normally you wouldn't think this would work but for me backing up on your second serve gave me more time to rip the return yeah. because if I stand closer and if I step in I can't rip it because I'm I'm not set up for it to end up kind of like making a shorter type of swing like kind of just redirecting it back and if I back up and give myself space I felt like I could take a huge cut at it huge huge swing at it <laughs> See, my back in return wasn't working well at all. I was kept shanking everything. Again, I'm mistiming my back in return. So you probably should have gone more to my backhand. Yeah. Like trying to go down, the, like on the deuce down the tee and maybe out wide. I tell you what, though, like playing on that side the entire time. It's brutal out there. Oh my goodness. I was tossing up those junk balls there. I, was like, I right. couldn't see those at all. I don't even know how, how I made it. I saw it. you running for one like this. I, I was blocking it with my hand, yeah. which worked somewhat. <laughs> Oh, I can't see anything. Yeah. I literally could not see anything on that overhead.